Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here's another deck profile for you guys today. This time it's on Thunder Dragons. So Thunder Dragon Colossus actually went to the semi-limited list, which is a little concerning, but at the same time, this is as close to full power Thunder Dragons as we're going to get. Because I doubt this card's going to peel off at three. I really hope it doesn't, because I feel like people are going to abuse the hell out of that. But anyway, yeah, Thunder Dragons is a deck that I never got to fully enjoy, simply because like it got hit immediately after I had already built the deck. And yeah, it was just like devastating. But... Anyway, yeah, um, I decided to go with more of a chaos approach with this deck rather than my last build where I was trying to do like a mix of like Dragon Link uh, perspective, uh, well, Dragon Link like plays and yeah, it was, it was all right, but it just wasn't like great. So, but again, like with with Thunder Dragon Colossus being back at two, this actually changes a lot of things. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. All right, so my main deck is actually 46 cards, uh, starting off with three copies of Thunder Dragon Dark. Uh, this card's pretty solid because, especially with the Lord of Darkness, this card's actually pretty cracked. So, quick effect, you can discard this card, add another copy of itself to it, to your hand. And then if um, this card is banished uh, or sent from field to the grave, you can add one Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand. So, this card can search basically just about anything you need. Next, three copies of the OG Thunder Dragon, just because, you know, the fact that it's just an effect that you can activate from the hand just to get some more Thunder Dragons is pretty relevant. Um, the fact, and again, like, since we're going with a Chaos build, um, we do need the fact that it's a Light Monster, too. And plus, this just helps us to guarantee that we can make Colossus pretty easily, because, again, as long as you use an, a Thunder effect from the hand, you can make a Colossus just like that. I'm only playing two copies of Thunder Dragon War for this build, just because, like, this card has been considerably bricky sometimes. And having, t I think having two is fine. It's a card that I'd rather just search, you know? So, but other than that, it's still a great card to have. But yeah, discard with this card, and you can... And then, um, and then uh, one of your Thunder Dragons, That's you can add one of your Thunder Dragons that's either banished or in your graveyard back to your hand. And then if this card is sent from, and if this card is uh, banished or sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Thunder Dragon monster from your deck, but it has to be in defense mode, so that's the only downside to it, but it's still pretty good. Next up, one Thunder Dragon Hawk. This is the one that special summons uh, a Thunder Dragon from your banished pile if this card is uh, discarded. But um, yeah, it's it's still a crazy card. It also has a, a banishment effect where it's basically magical mallet. But you're mostly going to use it for its summoning effect. But one hawk is all you're ever going to need. Uh, moving on, three copies of Battery Man Solar. It's uh, Foolish Burial. And also can produce a token if you special summon a Thunder Monster. So definitely pretty relevant. Uh, for my Bistial package, I'm playing three copies of the Bistial Labellion. Uh, first I was playing that too, but then I realized like I kind of want that third copy just so I can always make sure I get one of my bestial monsters. Plus, you know, I do have a couple targets for its uh, on-field effect to get either branded um, regained or branded beast, depending on what I need, you know. But anyway, for the remaining bestials, I'm playing one of each of the best ones. Well, basically one of each of all of them, really. So one Magnumut, one Druis, one Sarnir, one Baldrake. And I am, in fact, playing the one copy of the Bestial Albert. This is actually not too bad, really. It's pretty good against the Tenpai Dragons. And also, uh, it's a Tuner Monster, which is pretty relevant for some of my plays. So that's why I'm playing the uh, just the one copy of him. And yeah, he comes up quite a bit. Now, for the actual Chaos Monsters, I'm playing the one copy of Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. This card's pretty correct, um, especially because it has a pretty powerful Pendulum effect. But you also it also has a pretty neat effect... Uh, if you summon it, but you're mostly just going to use it as an extender piece, really, so. But, um, again, like, its pendulum effect is probably going to be the one you're going to use the most. And it does come up quite a lot. I'm also playing the one copy of Chaos Dragon Levianir. Um, has utility for all, for any one of its three effects. One Chaos Creator. Uh, this card is also pretty strong. So, um, you can target three banished monsters with different names, special summon one of them, and then place the rest of the bottom of your deck, so a great way to recycle your resources. Not a Chaos Monster, but it's kind of an honorary, honorary addition, one Darkest Diablosis, because there are a couple effects in the deck that uh, allow you to tribute, especially a, for a Dark Monster, which can in fact tribute your, can trigger your Darkest Diablosis, so it's a great extender, can also rip a card out of your opponent's hand, and it's a level 8, so we do have, just for, you know, for a potential rank 8 play. I'm playing the one Wyvern Burster and one Collapse Serpent, these cards are limited, so for obvious reasons. But again, you do have a way to kind of recycle these, which is pretty nice. I'm also running a small Nemesis package, so one Flag, one Corridor, and one Arch Nemesis Escados. I don't have Protos, but Escados is pretty strong too, because like, 
it declares if you declare the correct type against the right matchup this can be pretty detrimental um for fiendsmiths you know you're obviously going to catch you're going to call fiend and if you're up against you bell i mean the whole deck is already fiend anyway so like that's this is a powerful effect against that against snake eye called pyro so like it does have some pretty good utility and arguably escados might be a little bit better than protos right now but again i that's just my opinion so but you guys can tell me in the comments of what you guys think all right so now moving on uh for my hand traps i'm playing three copies of ash and three imperm you know just six hand traps since it's primarily a combo deck i don't want to like clog up my deck with too many hand traps uh for my spell lineup three copies of allure darkness i mentioned this card's pretty pretty uh, nuts in this deck especially with thunder dragon dark double triple t one called by one thunder dragon fusion one chaos space gold sark Brandon regained, and of course, as I mentioned before, I am playing the one copy of Branded Beast. So both excellent cards, and yeah, just a lot of different one ofs. But the cool thing is, like, some of them are are searchable, so that's why I play them just one. All right, so now for the uh, extra deck. So we're playing two of the big boy, two Colossus. Uh, basically, uh, it's a mistake on legs. I mean, literally the card mistake, and it also has a built-in protection effect. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, one Thunder Dragon Titan. I don't feel like I need to play multiples of these anymore, especially because I'm playing a little less uh, effect, like quick effects from the hand to you know trigger its effect anyway. So like Thunder Dragon Matrix no longer in the deck if you guys already noticed, because like yeah it's a good card, but I mean like it's not that great you know. I am playing a couple of Synchros, one Bestial Dispatter, and again this is why the uh, Bestial Alibur is relevant. The fact that it's a tuner monster. Uh, one Chaos Angel, which actually you don't technically need a tuner. Any monster you can use any two monsters as long and treat one of them as a tuner regardless. So yeah, Chaos Angel is pretty strong in this deck. Um, and with some of the monsters that I'm playing, also open up with some rank four possibilities. So I'm playing the one Infernal Flame Banshee, just so I can search out my Nemesis flag, and then from there just search out the corridor. One Abyss Dweller. Uh, we are in a form where there's a lot of graveyard effects, so I figured Abyss Dweller is pretty nice. One Hope Harbinger. If I had Typhon, I'd play it, but who knows, maybe I'll pull one in my Mega Tens. And of course, the uh, one copy of Zeus. Zeus is still pretty cracked, so yeah. And for my Link lineup, I am still playing the one Hieratic Seal, just because it is a, uh, since there are plenty of dragons to go to to use, so I figured one, I just had that little additional disruption. One SP Little Knight. One IP. One Dark. One Nightmare Unicorn. And last but not least, one Axis Code Talker, just to clear boards, you know? All right, so now for my side deck. Um, this may come to you as a shock. I am playing three copies of D Shifter on the side. I would main deck this, but I feel like this is a card that works best if you're going second. So unless I know for a fact that I'm going to end up going second, this is a card I'd rather wait to use. Uh, same thing with Nib, you know, like I, it's a card that I, I need to know for sure if I'm going to go, if I'm going to end up going second. And of course, the same goes with the Phantasmes. Um, but it's a it's also a great budget option to the Mulcharmy, so that's why I'm playing Phantasme instead. Double Lightning Storm and Harpy's Feather Duster. And then of course, three copies of IDP. IDP is just crazy right now. It's like it's I've been testing it out on different uh, against different matchups, and it's definitely working for me. So yeah, I definitely think IDP is a great um, is a great side option to try this format. So definitely give it a shot if you're in, if you're interested. <clears throat> Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoy this, and I will catch you guys again next time.